Hi, I'm Jesse and I am the founder of Workflowy. And I wanted to talk to you about Fractal Boards, which we released in Workflowy recently. And uh, we never really announced it. Um, we kind of just released it. People have been using it. People have been loving it. And so I wanted to talk to you about it, both to let anyone who doesn't know about it know about it already, and also just to share how we're using it and to uh, hopefully get people who are using it to share with us how they're using it so we can then spread that to the community, spread some best practices, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, first thing I want to do is talk about what are boards and what are fractal boards. So, a normal board, it's like this: it's a list, a horizontal scrollable list, uh, containing vertical scrollable lists. And Trello is the most popular product that kind of made boards mainstream. They're really useful for just organizing stuff, you can move things around the lists. Uh, and the, one of the big things, you can then also zoom in on the lists uh, to focus. And um, it's pretty straightforward. So in Workflowy, any item can be either a board or a bullet, and we'll be adding lots more types pretty soon. Um, but basically, you can just toggle your view between based on how you want to use it. It's pretty standard boards. So. Now let's look at what are fractal boards. Basically, they're boards that can be inside of one another. Uh, they can be embedded side by side. And I will show you some examples so that that's not so abstract. So this is, these are two ways that we're using boards internally. Um, one is our list of projects. So it's a backlog, all the projects that we are, are kind of not planning on immediately. Next up, the stuff that's right in the pipeline active, the stuff we're actively working on, and the stuff that's done. There's a few other categories as well. But the beauty of what Fractal Boards is, is see, this is a project that we're working on right now. If I zoom in, you can see that it's got, it's a document outlining the structure of the project, but also inside of it, there is a board. So this is a board within a board. Um, and that's really powerful because you can, do that forever as much as you want and if you have a big organization or something you can just do what's needed additionally this is one of the more powerful things about workflow let's say this project has some contractors on it and you don't want them to have access to everything in your whole uh, world other products you'd have to create some weird structure to give them access in workflow you can just share only this node only this sub part with whoever um, so that's another awesome thing and it's true of all workflow, but it works really well in this context. All right, so another thing I wanna show you is basically uh, how you can use boards next to each other. So this is, these are boards, kind of you can show that you can expand them uh, and, and view them next to one another. And that's a pretty cool, pretty powerful feature. I'm gonna zoom out so you can a little bit better. And uh, it's really useful. So say you have a project that, you know, you have a design team and you have, you have developers, you have marketers, they're all working together, but you also want the developers to be able to focus in on what, what are they doing right now. And you want the designers to be able to focus in on what they're doing right now. And you want the marketers to be able to focus on what they're doing right now. But everyone is working together. They're moving tasks around between the teams because, you know, uh, marketing wants some feedback from design on something or development is blocked and they're not sure exactly because they need a design, they need to pop, out, pop it up there. So you can have these boards next to one another and you can just drag from one into the next and from here up to here. If you want to be real crazy, you can drag this whole column down here, etc. I'm going to undo that one. Um, so basically, it's a very powerful thing. If you want, you can even drag this whole board down in here. And then now the design board is inside the, <laughs> the development board. I think that's a pretty weird thing to do, so let's undo it. Uh, but it just shows the flexibility of this, of this way of working and the fluidity of organizing uh, with fractal boards in Workflowy. Now here's another example. This is something that my wife is using um, and in her project, uh, she has a, a board for every team member. It's a small little project. These are not actual team members. And, uh, and then each of, their, each of their columns in the board is a board itself. So it lets her have a view of what everyone's doing 
you know, from a high level view, but every individual person can just zoom in on their personal board and get to work. And it's really nice. I actually was really surprised to see that. And seeing that kind of way of using things is part of why I want uh, people to share how they're doing stuff so we can get more ideas. All right, and now lastly, I just wanna talk about tags and boards and search and boards because it's pretty cool. So let's go in here and say, this is our project board. Um, and I can just search for everything where James is mentioned. And this will let you see uh, from a bird's eye view, everything that James needs to do. It works well with the boards. If you wanna you know, zoom out more, I can just look for James here and it still works. It's pretty sick. So that's a overview of fractal boards and idea and some examples but we really want to see how you're using them. So uh, we'd love it if you could create a workflow demo. We'd be super psyched about it. Um, on the, if you click through to the page that this video is hosted on, you can see it. Uh, you'll see this whole presentation and inside it, um, there's instructions here about how to create a workflow demo. So just click through um, and uh, send us your demo and just send us how you use Workflow. It'd be awesome if there was boards in it. If not, we'd still love to see how you use Workflow. That'd be wonderful and we'll still share it. And here's what we'll do with your demo. Um, we'll make a page for it, just like the one that you're looking at now if you click through. And we'll share it with tens of thousands of people. We'll, we're gonna create a collection of these demo pages and just send them out to everyone in the Workflow community. Um, so if you do something popular, it could be viewed by 100,000 people. Um, and that would be super cool. Um, and yeah, just help us out. Send us some examples and help others declutter their brains. Uh, and one more thing is that if you love Workflowy, you should share this video. Um, spread the word about us. Uh, it's the best way to support us. So thank you so much. And um, thank you for using Workflowy.